On this episode of NSFW, we are joined by Casey McKinnon, the lovely haunted broadsword is unsheathed yet again as we deliver violent justice to the gender inequality of Google+. Also, we get some funny reviews for Brian's Cheats, Con, Swindles and Tricks book. I offer an eight and a half hour audio book for a ridiculous price. And we are joined by Wizard Rock's own legends, the blibbering humdingers. It's all coming up in this edition of Venison W. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 85 for July 19th, 2011, Fem Friday. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies to your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly all stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And uh, squarespace.com. The fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 10% off your new account for six months, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code NSFW7. Tony, leave this in. You asked for it. A whole video devoted to the rainbow sponge. The Army Arts and Crafts Department sent me to Korea. Now, not a normal sponge. This is so dense. Three sizes because I can't stand just one size. Another thing that I want to talk about is the hygiene of the sponge. I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. No flab on this arm for my cleaning. Flab on this arm. Now, if you do get it on your hands, gloves are incredible. I have a pure, oh, I love a sponge that is absolutely pure. Oops, a virgin edge. Oh, my gosh. Ah! I did, oh, I am sorry. Oh, I want you to look at all of those wiggles. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wiggles. Oh my gosh. I love to wiggle the whole thing. There are many other surfaces that you can sponge on. I'm gonna show you wood. Of course you can go straight. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Are they incredible or what? Okay, calm down, D. And it's done. <laughs> yes. Do you see that? Oh, earth tone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Is this fun or what? Look at that. <laughs> On a card. Ah! <laughs> Breathing heavy. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Now it's getting to be too much. That means it's got to be go time. That means it's got to be go time for the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets, the show that it's nominally safe for work. It's none other than NSFW. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen of all the Americas at sea. It's Brian Brushwood, joined as always by my inimitable ho host. Ho ho ho. Ho host! <laughs> my inimitable ho 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 host. Ho host all the hosts! Brian. It's the host of Help all the them. ladies. What <laughs> Justin. <laughs> This is uh, what Justin Robert Rubles. Since 1845. If there was ever an episode that was young Esquire. for the ladies, we had to get one that had my ho-host over here, Mr. <laughs> Justin Robert Young. How you doing, Jerry? Folks, welcome back to NSFW Show, bringing you all the fun parts of the internet that your snide friends who think they're clever will be sending you in emails one month from today. And believe you me, there is no one that I am more excited to have on this show than one of our favorite guests. Folks, you might know her as the Haunted Broadsword, but you should know her as Casey McKinnon. Welcome back to the show, Casey. Woo! Hey, welcome. You know, I have something to tell you about that lady in the video. What, the, what? the one who was very excited about the sponge and the yeah, virgin edges? Yeah, I was edges? reading about her the other day, and it turns out that she has three husbands. No, uh, you mean ex-husbands. can't. And just one size. No, she's got to have the <laughs> variety have, pack. Yes, you have three. 
So you got to load them up like a buffet. See, you this know? is the yeah. insight we need. This is why we brought in Casey McKinnon because there are problems on the internet that only a female perspective is gonna gonna Women's fix. Intuition. But first, we. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Before we like jump an into that, Justin, to choose on size. That yeah. knows. She also uses that sponge for um, contraception. Uh, contraception, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is probably not a bad. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a money saving instrument. I'll tell you what. So. You can go wiggly. You can go straight. You can go padded. Uh -huh. Hey, we uh, mad mad props go out to cowgirl Curtis who found that back when it had three thousand views, and now it's been blown up by all the other hacks out there copying what NSFW is all about, and uh, now it's up to like a uh, quarter million and growing stuff like that. But uh, Justin, watch tell the nice people what we're up to today. We got a, we got a full plate. We got too much going Holy on. Crap. Yeah, no, we got a billion things uh, to do, folks. Uh, we are going to uh, delve into a little bit of uh, the, the Amazon space tonight. Yes, Brian's got a new book out. or It's really it, it's, 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 it's actually it's the old as, old as crap book is what you no, meant. It's a brand new book. Brian wrote a book over the last 48 hours, and it's called <laughs> Cheats, Cons, Windows, and Tricks. 40 ways that you can write a book in 48 hours and sell it on Amazon. Uh, we're going to talk about that, and we're going to have a little, ourselves a little contest to see who can do the most hilarious comment. Also... And this is really our big mission tonight, folks. Um, Google Plus, we all love it. It's new. But you want to know what the problem is? There's a 10 million people on there, and 9.999 and million are dudes. There's, like, it's Casey McKinnon and four other chicks that are on <laughs> Google Plus. And we need to rectify that problem. Folks, we're going to solve it right here on NSFW Show. That happens tonight. Also, Harry Potter. Listen, he's ending his... He's on the show. His Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Coming Potter. in tonight. Direct it's going to be amazing. Direct from Hogwarts. Uh, the Gryffindors let him out. He's going to play a song for him. <laughs> who who uh, let the Gryffindors out is what he's called. You want to know the, best, the next best thing? Wizard Rock. If you're not familiar with it, his entire subgenre of music that only plays awesome songs about Harry Potter, and we're going to have one of the best Wizard Rock bands on the scene, on the show tonight. The Blibbering Humdingers join us. Are you sure uh, that's right? So... Yeah. The blithering, blithering humdingers. humdingers. I like I like the fact that you had so much trouble with this before that I knew that by just asking you if you got it right, you would have to go check your notes to, to get it right to make sure you got it right. The, and I actually have it right there. Why not? I have the notes right here. And I, for some reason, I looked in the exact opposite direction where I have no notes. <laughs> That's that's like putting this uh, this sign on your knee. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. By the way, that's two. Oh, that's two. Punch, you got to you punch, punch it twice. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> punch it in now. Uh, yeah. Look, can we. Uh, here's the thing. We're gonna play a little game, you and me. First of all, uh, ten years ago, I wrote I wrote a book, and I'm doing using quotation marks because I don't know if it's a book if it's only forty pages long. But in forty pages, I was able to pack in uh, fifty seven of my favorite bar tricks to pull on your friends, and uh, since then I expanded it so there's eight more on there as well. So it's like sixty sixty. 65, 66 or whatever. Uh, scams for you to pull on your buddies. It's called Cheats, Con, Swindles, and Tricks, 57 Ways to Scam a Free Drink. And finally, after a decade, when I first published it, published it, I had them printed up. I had them put a fake barcode on the back and a fake ISBN so it would look like a real book. And at yeah. some point, like the digital revolution has changed everything. And everyone's just like, why don't you just publish it? I'm like, oh, I don't know. I guess I should. So finally, after 10 years, I put it out on the, uh, the Kindle platform right here. So if you go to to Amazon.com and just type in cheats, cons, swindles, and tricks. Here, here was my clue that I really needed to do something about it. Look at this. The only people kept writing me saying, "Why is your book ninety-five, ninety dollars?" Uh, and the reason was is because like old copies that were just floating around because I give them out to everyone were were you know showing up in used bookstores for only ninety. $90. And what's funny is in the comments in there, it says warning, the ISBN number on the back links to another book. Like I, they had totally busted me on my fake publishing. So now here's what I've done. I put it on Kindle. It's only 99 cents. Uh, if you, I, I don't know if you can do the math, but they only pay out one third. So that means I get 33 cents a book. So this is obviously not about the money. This is about the prestige, my friend, the prestige of for one shining glorious moment having the world uh, think that my book is a real book, uh, number one in magic. So do me a favor, if you have 99 cents, go ahead and buy it. But most importantly, we don't care about whether you buy it. We care about what you say about it, right, Justin? Yes, we want you to write the, uh, well, I mean, describe, Brian, what, what do you want them to write? 
Uh, look, I, I, obviously, you know, you have a little space to write a review on the book. And here's what's going to happen. At the end of the show, we're going to go and we're going to check out the reviews for the book. And we're going to look for the, whoever gets the cleverest review uh, will get, we'll get a prize. Do we, can we give away a, a TJ shirt? Do we have another one? I think we do. Yes. Oh, here we go. Tijuana Jackson, the Science of Triumph t-shirt. Yeah. So you will get a big, fat, sweet TJ uh, t-shirt if you have the cleverest comment. Now, what clever means is up to you. The one thing we're going to ask is keep it short. It's clever. Haiku length, right? Or shorter. Would you say that's right, Justin? Sure. Okay. Or, or maybe a limerick. You can go as far as a limerick. But whoever's, cl whoever's most clever will give a, give a prize to. But meanwhile, we got to fix the problems in the world. Right, Justin? Indeed. Folks, uh, you know, Casey, listen, you're on, you're on Google Plus, right? What, what do you think of it so far? I think it's awesome. I, you know, uh, I, can... I hate Facebook now. It's, it's, it's kind of like my favorite new thing. I think there's a few tweaks I'd like to see here and there, but by and large, it has kind of kept me from, from screwing around on the Facebook all that much. But there is a major flaw, and it was something that came out. Uh, there was a study uh, last week that said that 10, only 10% of the Google Plus membership was women, and then they were like, no, incorrect. It's, it's only 12 to 14 percent. Yeah, better yeah. No, bro, it's totally different. We got 12 percent. <laughs> we're strong. <laughs> so long story short, listen, we, we've decided that it's, it's up to us. If there's going to be one crack team of brilliant minds that's going to attract women to Google+, Plus, it's right here, baby. The three of us, triumvirate style. Triumvirate. We're going to we're, we're gonna tri triumvirate it up is what we're going to do. And, uh, and so to, to kick us off, what we did is we asked the fine denizens of chat realm to actually, uh, to, oh, they say now it's 33%. I don't believe you because in fact, since we started the show, oh. since we started the show, it's gone up to 33%. That's what an That's impact we've had. That's how big a deal we are here at NSFW, right? Progress. So we asked the denizens of chat realm, if, you're, if you follow uh, Justin R. Young on Twitter, you probably saw him tweet out earlier that we were looking for submissions for, we want to take them in a new direction. And we had chat realm get the ball rolling, but we want to see if we can come up with a way to ramp things up to full steam here. Let me, let me walk you through some of the first entries that we got. And I'm gonna open up this business right here. So the, again, the idea here is, is we want to entice women to, to join the- Well, I think that there's, there's, there's a lot of ways that we can hit it. You know, we can either, uh, we can either kind of scare people into, into thinking what is a world, what is a Google Plus without chicks if we don't fix this problem. Right. There's that kind of scare tactic. There's so, the- So, so uh, what you're saying is something along the lines of if you don't, you, if you, if girls, if you don't join Google Plus, uh, we'll rape a kitten. <laughs> well, oh, wow. Sure. Well, that's- Listen, uh, Well, that, that would be going the other way. See, that would be trying to scare women into joining Google Plus. We'd have to go outside of Google Plus to scare those women that if you don't sign on right now, Maybe, you know, he's got to get screwed. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The first entry, the moment we announced that we were looking for submissions, this one showed up. It says, white women, where are they at? Not on Google+. Plus. <laughs> Come on, ladies. We need you. <laughs> so what do you say? It kind of gets you going. You're thinking of Blazing Saddles. You think, uh, oh, I have good associations with that. They clearly want me to join. Right? That's a good thing, <laughs> right? White women, where are they at? <laughs> Not our Google Plus. Come on, ladies, we need they're you. They're not. They're not. Not any women, let alone the white ones. Well, I think. Uh, yeah. No, I think that's. Uh, I know a bunch of awesome chicks on Google Plus. Well, you want to know? I think there's only white women on Google Plus. <laughs> that's, that's not true. I know an awesome. White and Asian. I know two that's awesome Asian it. chicks. There's a white and Asian. Okay. Yeah. No, that's that's true. Uh, what? What? Oh, does I know one, one black chick. You know one black chick. Okay. There's a. Uh, Two, oh, two, sorry. Harkening uh, back to the days of, uh, of World War II, we got Rosie the Riveter saying, we have circles now. Join now and stop oppression. Google Plus. What do you think of that? Is, is that too retro? Is that too old? That's, actually, that's a shocking resemblance. Do that again. That's, I think like, it's a kind of do-rag there. Yeah. You're, re you're ready to Don't go. Don't worry. Photoshop will have that in about 20 seconds. <laughs> Chat, Chat Realm's on the case for that one. <laughs> Uh, that one, I, I don't know that that's going to take off. I don't know that that is going to ideally. Well, again, I mean, we, need, we need to hone in. And let's, let's go through all these posters that were sent in. But I think our job here is to figure out who our target audience is. If it's guys on Google+, then we need to be telling them to do something, like invite girls. Yes. Like invite a girl every day, something like that. Like, yes. Or if it's, if it's 
chicks who are not on Google Plus, then we got to think of something about why being on Twitter and Facebook is terrible, or why they they need to cross that bridge well, into Google Plus. I know. That you know, I think girls are really effective. I think you know, I I'm thinking right now of writing a blog post about this and telling all the chicks that I know why they should be joining Google Plus. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a, a bunch of the ones we got. This was actually the classiest. I don't know how effective an argument it makes, but it's uh, it just says we can't do it without you, ladies, and it's got <laughs> it's got. <laughs> That's actually amazing. Isn't that great? It's uh, it's just got the two. It's got two intertwined circles, and uh, uh, oh, I just saw what the middle of it looks like. Oh. <laughs> and then I realized it was secretly dirty. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I thought that was good. Well, listen, Brian. No, sure. It's a Venn diagram. It's a Venn diagram showing See, the Venn the Venn narrow cross section. Little, let's just say, Brian. Uh, there's just a a. Uh, a slit in the middle. Well, it's a very, what we're saying is there's a very narrow crossover. There's, there's girls and then there's people who have circles and very few of them cross over into both. That's what, I think that's what they were trying to say on this. That's is that right? That's basically what they're saying. Yes. Uh, no, that Wait, one's, that so one's you're saying I'm a good. vagina? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Uh, not my because words. That's, right that's, that's the person who what? sent that in. Um, no. You know, they are alleging that, that, that women have vaginas is apparently what they're saying. Sorry, I just had to slip that. I heard a rumor on the the internet that women have vaginas. <laughs> this just in, Dateline 2011. Women have vaginas. Back to you, Kent. Uh, let's do this. This one right here. You got, you got the pull and you got the push, right? If you want to make people scared, then you say, this is what will happen if girls join, join Google Plus soon. And you got two dudes kissing. I Where think that's a on? Jew and a Nazi. It looks like a communist and a Nazi kissing, right? Uh, no, I think this I was originally a girl that they photoshopped the dude's face onto. When I look at it, I mean, here you—I mean, you tell me what what you see on there. But like when I look at it right here, there we go. Let me get a close up, and there we go. Right, that's definitely two dudes, right? That guy on the left needs to close his eyes, though. It's really creepy with his eyes open. Yeah, it's sort of it a discourteous way to kiss. It shows a lack of trust. Yeah, I think it's so. A gay communist soldier boy lover i mean he looks like he's gonna like you know thrust the like a sword into his belly right after or something <laughs> all right you know? he's gonna yeah, bayonet he's gonna bayonet his his, his battlefield yeah. gay hookup so i got it <laughs> this is actually you guys were saying that we need to actually convince the ladies right we need to make an argument it's not enough to that's just that's one way to go about it yeah. i think i think our job is to take all the messages that everybody's sending out there all their suggestions and let's let's pare it down to one one, one thrust, one that, that kind of excites us the most. Uh, okay, how about this? This is a screen capture <laughs> of a guy who's setting up a, a Google Plus and he's got a category that just says women and he's got <laughs> a giant kitten over here and suggestions. You got Colleen, you got uh, Gina, you got Sarah, you got, uh, see, this is, this is showing what you can experience, right? It's, it's a slice of, of actual experience. You know, now, now, Casey, as, as a woman, if you were not on Google Plus, would that tempt you to get on Google Plus? Just huh? a nice little big kitten. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty cute kitten, I gotta say. <laughs> That's, that's, I'm not yeah, hearing the enthusiasm. It's a real shame if someone had to rape it if enough chicks don't get on Google+. <laughs> Plus. Yeah, according to those, if that's Casey McKinnon, that's the guest's <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> Let me just make that clear for the record. <laughs> uh, okay, now this one's kind of interesting because I, I believe what they're doing. You'll notice that it says, hold on, let me, let me get the, the capture here correct. I apologize that I'm dallying around here. But you can see it starts off with a very simple statement of, uh, you know, welcome, ladies, is what it says there, right? Google Plus. <laughs> and when you look up, yeah. they're clearly playing on the fact that Google Circles is something that should appeal to the women because they draw a lot of attention to the Google Circles, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's denoting that you are at the center of the circle. Well, yeah. Not at the center of the circle. And then. Because you have boobies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, well, I got, see, uh, this one's dirty too. What is yeah. this? <laughs> now I'm starting to wonder if this was a good idea at all. They keep being dirty when, when hey, we... Hey, you know what, though? It's Google's fault for, like, you know, do you want to be in my circle? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's all Google. That stuff. is a good point. That, it, it sounds like... Yeah, there's a lot of circles on ladies. And... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> is that what that's a quote I'd like to see on Twitter out of context? <laughs> with a lot of circles on ladies, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Listen, uh, there's a reason why I'm a legendary Lothario, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, here's the deal. What we need to do is hey, we lady, need to, let me get in your circle. We need to oh. capture we need to capture what women are into, right? Which is why this person suggests that we say it's better than Groupon. Join Google Plus. <laughs> Because everyone knows bitches be loving coupons. Wow, Brian. <laughs> that's, you, mean, know, that's... you know, I got to say, I have you guys in multiple circles. For example? Yes, she does. I'll tell you what, she's not shy to say it. She's got a lot of dudes <laughs> in a lot of circles at one time. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, look, let's... Uh... <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make things. I think we're all just still reeling about you screaming bitches love you. Uh, no, that's what, that's, that is what, that is what uh, William Shakespeare said <laughs> back in the day. Everybody knows that. It's a famous quote. Or no maybe. Bitch, don't protest too much about the coupon. Maybe, maybe I was just thinking of this one that they sent in. <laughs> <laughs> We're just oh, they're just getting sexist. This is a, a picture of Brian looking very haughty, uh, <laughs> screaming, "Do it, bitches!" <laughs> that's no, I, I don't like that one. For the record, I don't think that's a good one to do. I think that's a lousy one. But if I, you were gonna say that, well, how would, what voice would it be? Uh, you know what I would do if I if I was going to appear in one of these, I would be like photoshopped, where it's like I'd look tan and I'd be wearing this awesome white shirt and on the beach Zanata, like beach like beach. yeah just like like come on ladies um nothing like this one right here this says join google plus and you can have this even pinker than usual <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> definitely went in and pinkified my yourself. face even more <laughs> I hate you guys so much. See, I don't think that we're getting we're getting to the root of it. To be honest with you, I, Dude. I think we're still we're 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 on the outside looking in. I don't think this is gonna catch on. Uh, well, let me see if we got one. Oh, here we go. This is okay. Now, what if we did it like a PSA? What if we again we we scared them about what the alternative is? What if we said you ladies can stop the sausage fest? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that is beautiful. Now here, they, basically, it's the Google Plus logo, but instead of the G Plus at the center of the of the, the black box, it's just uh, probably fourteen dudes in a tiny hot dog. I actually think you have underestimated the number of dudes in there. There is a at lot. Least Twenty-seven thousand dudes One, two, in a tiny hot dog. There's a lot of sausages 11, 12, in there. 13, 14, 15, 16, the chat 17, 18. Eighteen bros, bro. That's uh, they they have a show. It's called Eighteen, 18 Bros, bro. Bros, bro. That's right. Eighteen Bros and Counting. Eighteen Bros and Counting. Bro Brosenberry. Brosenberry Pie is what it's called. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. this one. It's okay. Thirty six balls, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Okay, I like this one, and I actually think this one, this poster could be viral uh, on on the Google Plus, right? If it because it's got a call to action and right here it just says, right now, men are outnumbering women on social networks ten to one. Let's fix that right now. Google Plus. And it says join, invite your friends. We're counting on you. Uh, now I, th I think like the format of that and could it work. Shows, it shows the bridesmaids uh, one sheet. Right. All the all the ladies are just kind of looking gangster style in their wedding outfits. Yes, exactly. Now, I feel like if this one had the right hook at the end, that could actually go semi-viral. I don't know. Do, would yeah. anyone care about it? Yeah, it needs a better hook. Needs a better yeah. hook. Yeah. Well, so what, what should the... Well, we, need, we need something sassy at the end. I think we just need to put a little stank on it, is what I'm mm -hmm. saying. <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> well, you just need a little sauce, baby. You don't just send that stuff out dry. What about... You got to sauce it up. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but this one makes a very specific claim. Uh, what do you think if we did something like this where it just said, when you use Google+, Plus, you suddenly look way hotter? <laughs> Anyone? I, I don't want to uh, look like untrue. her, though. You don't want to look like, uh, like a trashy vampire? <laughs> not really. <laughs> She looks like the personal assistant to a to uh, Satan. evil vampire CEO in a terrible movie. Yes, exactly. In, in, a, in, a, in a prawn movie. In a prawn movie. <laughs> in a prawn movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I don't know. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anyone else. I'm, I'm, uh, oh, hold on. Now, this is good. What if, what if they made an institutional change over at Google? Something that sort of suggested that, uh, ladies, I think you may uh, 
you know, like it over here. It's uh, it's kind of nice. And then when they go, you know, when they go to Google, for example, maybe it's that. Ladies oh, so and yeah, oh. the female sign and the male sign. But I think the male that, sign, I mean, that's what we want to eliminate. That, All right, that deserves, we, we, uh, uh, you know, sadtrombone.com right there. Oh, you don't like that? No. No. Yeah, no, because it's got bros and ladies. So I got an good. idea. All right. You ready for it? All right, go. I think what we need to do is start a movement on Google+. Plus. Every day, invite a lady. I just think we need, we need the right way to say it. Oh, you know, no, Everybody's like got that. invites on Google+. Plus. You should be doing your thing. Stop the sausage fest. Every day, invite a lady. Invite a lady. Or we could have a ladies' day. Or, uh, and you could, you could even say, like, you know, you want Google Plus to look like this? No. Invite a lady. And, you know, and then you could have the, the sausage pizza that they... Uh, but I think we need, we need something. We need a cool, a cool hook. For, we, just need, we just need a fun way to say that. All right. No, I like the that. Daily lady. No frack in the chat room. Daily lady. Have you done your daily lady? Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, no. What about this one? I like this one. This one's dead simple. What about this? They just make it into... Google Plus, we'll listen. <laughs> Google Plus, how was your day? <laughs> Google Plus, no, really, I'm totally interested, sweetheart. Keep going. No, it's, this is awesome. Google Plus, Plus one, move are those on. shoes new? <laughs> Google Plus, have you lost weights? <laughs> wow, that's terrible. These are all things you'd say to your wife if you didn't really want to get laid ever again <laughs> uh well you want to know what here let's let's marinate on this uh while uh we talk about one of our favorite people in the world who are our favorite people in the world uh well listen this week i mean because we're always changing who our favorite people in the world are this no, week not. though we've got a brand no, new favorite not. yeah no we're not oh absolutely no same people i hope it's descended me descended from heaven <laughs> And they were sent by, by aliens God himself to give you a miracle here on Earth. Are you are you quoting? You're quoting Pulp Fiction again. Why are you doing that? I don't know. Are you saying God gave down? It's not no, these, no, no, these, no, 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 Brian. Listen, that's not the Netflix read. That's later in the show. <laughs> I'm saying that it must be a miracle by those crafty rascals at Squarespace.com. For them to create such a fine product for such a low cost. I've just been I've just been handed this by the Invisible Wife. By the way, it's a late entry, and I don't know if it's really meant for the show or meant for me specifically. Um, Google Plus, the boys here took out the trash. <laughs> Pretty sure that's that's for me specifically. So thank yes. you for that, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, look, here's the thing: if you haven't, if you've been living under a rock, uh, if you're not on the Google Plus, you probably have never heard of a little gem called Squarespace. Now I know, I know that's a weird name, right? Squarespace. What does that mean? You, is this the Matrix? Is this the future? Because yeah. it's are computers. Are, are, are circles not allowed here? Right. Well, oh, well, square Squarespace. Space. We can't do circles because we're square. We're old fogies from the '50s with our high. Pants, you know, oh, we're in the square space. We can't yeah. be hip, young, and cool. No, you won't play that big bopper record in my house. That's right. Put on the Perry Cuomo. Get up, get what's with the jazz music and get off my lawn. This is a square space. We can't have you do that. Where are all the round squares at? No. Uh, yes. I'm going to go vote for Eisenhower. That's right. I'm going to go vote for Eisenhower. Uh, here's the thing. It's not that. Turns out You don't have to vote for Eisenhower to have a Squarespace.com account. It, dude, you, Contrary to popular belief. You jumped ahead. That's their new slogan. You don't have to vote for Ike to have an awesome page. That's their new slogan over at Squarespace. You hate Ike? We do too. Get a squarespace.com. <laughs> you know, I would love to see some like compositions from 1950s imagery, make some posters out of there. Like, you know, like, mm, you don't have to vote for Eisenhower to like Squarespace. <laughs> what is a Squarespace, though? What do we do? What do they do when they get in their all room, right. all those here's, squares here's in their own do. space? All right. So you have this idea, right, in your head, and you're like, I want to represent that on the internet. What would you normally do? I don't know. Go run around screaming. <laughs> run if you slice run face around to one person at a time a and shout. What and, and just shout yeah. your ideas one at a time. And you'd and you'd eventually say, Hey, did you put that on the internet? And they'd say, <laughs> No. And you'd say, Oh well, and then you just run up to the next person and start screaming all your ideas at once. Not anymore, folks. Squarespace.com. You're gonna set up a website. It doesn't even matter if you're really, really good at CSS and making that stuff look good. You wanna know what? You can put a little stank on it. 
with their own. Uh, Again their with own... the stank. What makes you think they'll be pro stank? Is it possible to put stank on a Squarespace? Oh, please. Stank comes automatic, folks. Stank on a square. Right. Yes, you can stank your square all goddamn day long at <laughs> squarespace.com. And you want to know what? You can do it uh, with, with a free trial. Right, no way. Brian? It's free to get your stank on a square? Get your stank on a square, folks. <laughs> get on over to squarespace.com and you <laughs> Get your stake on a square at squarespace.com. And it doesn't matter if everybody watches. If it gets all dig dug up or reddited and no. all of a sudden the whole world knows that you got stank on a square, guess what? It's not going to go down. Yeah. Stank you on a square. You all over everybody, folks. For uh, free, and, free and, trial. And man in the chat room just said, at squarespace.com, stank comes standard. Everywhere else, you're going to be paying extra for that stank. Not on Squarespace. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That comes fully loaded right out the box, son. Yeah, let me tell you, and I'm going to make sure I got the code right. Is it code NSFW7? Because it it, let's, say, let's say you wanted to make stankonasquare.squarespace.com. Boom. Just like that, you already got it live. They don't even ask for a credit card or nothing, right? You're picking from one of the badass templates. You're making yourself look professional. You got distributed network hosting so that you can't be brought down by the man because the man hates stank on a square. That's for dang sure. But then you want to lock it in. You want to make this happen. Use yourself a little promo code called NSFW7. It's an exclusive code that no one else in the whole world has. We were well, able to wine and dine the squares over at Squarespace. <laughs> we got them to loosen up a bit. We told them we were Republican fund. We fed, him, we fed him a little too many scotch and sodas. Yeah, like right. A whiskey meat. And we're like, we're like, know? listen, listen, fellas. I know we're having a great time playing bocce ball here, but uh, let's yeah. loosen up a little bit. Why don't we spread some love? Maybe a little ten percent off. They're like, how about we do? Like, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I, I said, don't, I don't think this is a good idea, guys. Let's well, throw the bocce around a little <laughs> bit more. Can I have another vermouth? And then he said, and then I said, well, no, just like 10%. And they were thinking like, what, for a week, two weeks? What do you mean you're going to ruin all the books? And I said, no, bro. You got you to shoot for the moon. I'm talking six months of 10% off. Free money you're giving away for, for uh, getting stank on your square. And then meanwhile, they got so drunk, they were falling over doing the Charleston, having a great time <laughs> by the end of it. <laughs> By the end of it, we just said, you want to know what? I'll tell you what, you can do the box up all you want, but you got to get this offer code locked in there. And by the end of it, it was like it was like in those movies where they took a hit of weed and all of a sudden they're shaking and jiving to all the <laughs> They're doing the jitterbug. Out. They're like, NSFW7 as they go around. Yeah, no, it was amazing. I wish Absolutely. you guys could have been there. Uh, okay. And then at the end, they said like, you know, it was like in there. It's like like when like the the granny starts rapping. It's like, get your stank on a stick with square space. <laughs> Did you say stank on a stick? Yeah. <laughs> stank on a square. No, that's what you use to smear it on the square. Okay. Okay. Got gotcha. you. Stank on a stick, and then you smear it on the square at the squarespace.com. <laughs> that sounded like a beatnik there. This is supposed to be a meeting for grown-ups, son. No, no. Okay. See, it's all evolved. Now Can, they're all on. They're all on the same team. Squarespace.com, folks. Make any site you want. And and here's the best thing. We all know that you've been listening to these goddamn ads forever. You listen to all these twit ads. And they talk about Squarespace because it's an amazing sponsor for this network. And maybe you've got one. Maybe you're not in the mood to, to, to have a site right now. It's totally cool, bro. All you got to do is go on squarespace.com, make some hilarious site just as a joke for, for this show or for your friends. You just want to send somebody to something, it's just like a, like a fun little punchline. Do that. Squarespace loves it. You're not taking advantage of them. They want you to get a little test drive as to how awesome their service is. So when you do have a site, that you want to put some stank on, you will go to squarespace.com and you will use offer code NSFW7 because you trust them and you know that they are going to be rock and roll. Hey, uh, I'll tell you what's not rock and roll. What I don't think is going to work, I don't think this is in keeping with the messaging behind Google or Google+. Plus. I understand E for effort to whoever sent this in, but I'm going to say that we probably are not are going to go with ladies, we're expecting you at Google+. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> Oh. Uh, and for those listening, it is a pregnancy test where it says Google on the side and then the plus, which indicates pregnant, is active. 
<laughs> so what uh web that is amazing web 3204 the chat room suggests that it's uh, the slogan be uh do your duty invite some booty google plus which i again that's sexist that's not good the ladies aren't gonna like that right i mean that's the problem uh, although, although here before before we get into this uh brian i do want to uh point out something uh, before we get too far into the show um Andrew Maine, who, of course, has uh, been on the show many, many times and, and I work with, uh, he wrote, he's writing these, these science fiction books, which we've talked about, including Grendel's Shadow, Ch Chronological Man, and Public Enemy Zero. I've been doing the audio books for them, and I did the audio book that was just released last night for um, Public Enemy Zero, which, if you are watching So good, live, by the way. So good. Thank you very, very much. It is eight and a half hours. It's a full-length novel. I did the whole gosh darn thing myself. And uh, I'm really proud of it. So if you're watching live or you download this within the first day that it's out, uh, it is available for 99 cents. God, so everybody God, I watching tell live. It's so cheap. This is, look, I understood with the book, 99 cents. Okay, he wants it to be popular. He wants to give it to at an affordable price. This is an audio book. You spent two days in a sweaty warehouse pretending to speak in a falsetto voice, trying to be a woman. Uh, 99 <laughs> cents? What is he doing? Uh, yeah, 99 cents. Well, in, in, within 24 hours, it will end. Uh, a Wednesday at, at midnight. So if you're listening to this on podcast, then it might be a little bit too late. But don't worry. It's only going to go up to $2.99 after that. Then we're going to gouge you. Uh, but <laughs> just do me a favor. Head on over to andrewmain.com slash books and, uh, and download it. And, um, and there you go. It's 99 cents. Also, a little fun thing. It's uh, about three quarters of the way through the book. There is a character named Special Agent Merritt. And I will not confirm or deny that the voice I use for Special Agent Merritt is a ridiculous parody of Tom Merritt. That is uh, awesome. Network. So, uh, so check that out. AndrewMain.com slash books. 99 cents, folks, for an eight and a half hour audiobook is his full length. Uh, please go check it out and let me know what you think. And also, when you buy it, uh, do me a favor. Tweet out. Uh, they have a little thing right there. Andrew has a little thing right down there. So you can just as easily tweet it out and let everybody know that you bought it for 99 cents. Spread the word. Do me a favor and do that. Uh, and if you read it and you liked it, head on over to Amazon and review it. Every review is great for us. And uh, five-star reviews are obviously all right. better than uh, All right. So, so back to the question of, of the – I like your daily lady idea. I think that's a good one. A daily lady. But, but we uh, need a first daily of all, lady. We, we, you need to approve or, or disapprove all of this. Where, where are you at right now on these ideas, Casey? What's going to, number one, take root and become a popular meme out there? Like if we say we need more ladies – at this party, um, something like that. Is this going to work? Did you invite your daily lady? I mean, is that, <laughs> that going to take root or is that, that's just silly? The, the ladies aren't going to dig it. Sorry, I'm thinking of days of the week so that we can do, we know how Twitter has Follow Friday. <gasps> yes! Yes! So some kind of like, you know, Lady Wednesday or something. <laughs> lady Wednesday <laughs> sounds, uh, sounds a little bit rough. Um, uh, first you are Follow Friday. Mondays. What's that? <laughs> Your Girl Friday. Your Girl Friday. Uh, <laughs> like that movie. His let, Girl Friday. Let me, just say, let me just say real quick in the awesome. chat room, I'm seeing some very unhelpful suggestions that are not <laughs> going to get ladies in here. You can't say, you're not going to get more girls if you say the G, G plus, the G is for gossip. That's not going to help. Aww. That's, no. yeah, that's also, not. Also, uh, the Monday MILF, not helpful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Tuesday titties. <laughs> Not, See, this I can't is, even say some of these. Yeah. I, this is not. This is not the direction that's gonna get more girls on the Google Plus. Oh, Female Friday! Female Friday! That's what it is. You gotta do. You gotta make all your recommendations of of who you dig on. Uh, now, would this be girls? No, no, no. You have to invite them. Like that is the point. Is that right now? Is is Google Plus? It's still an invite culture, even if it's not totally closed, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody just said this is terrible. Finally, a G spot you can find. Uh. <laughs> but again, that's that's a male direction. I know. This is this is this is the bad reputation that Google Plus oh, has. Totally true. Am I right, gents? <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, we got people who take umbrage to that kind of thing. Uh, women love Oprah. I don't know if that means anything. Oh, gross. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love the visceral. Uh, that was just like, I just threw mayonnaise on your face. You're like, oh. do you know? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you threw mayonnaise on her face? Dude, I hate mayonnaise. Mayonnaise smells so gross. Is the nastiest. Ugh, I hate mayonnaise. Oh, but Miracle Whip is awesome. Is it? 
smear that crap all over. <laughs> <laughs> what about womb Wednesdays? We could all think. Uh, uh, our or moms. women Wednesdays. Uh, okay, there was somebody who sent in one earlier, and I made the mistake of of closing the document before I found it, and I cannot find the dang thing again. It was from a girl, and it was, oh, you know what? She Increase said, Increase the bust of Google Plus. Invite a lady. In increase the bust of Google Plus. That's good. And it's from Gigaloop in the oh, chat room. Here we go. Here we go. I think this one actually has really good potential. Here we go. You just says, Google Plus is a social network full of cat pics and your mom is not on it. Plus one. Yay. <laughs> 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 like this one has serious potential. And seriously, it definitely does. You know what's funny is I was about to bring up Zenny Arden, uh, but there she is right there. <laughs> from Boing Boing. She is yeah. the guiltiest of cat cat gifs. Is she just catting it up? Dude, every day is catter day with Jenny. <laughs> I don't know. My <laughs> friend Jenny's Sean Bonner has uh, a lot of cat. What is why is it what you know what? Well, what? Fem Friday. I like Fem Friday. Ooh, Fem Friday. Fem Friday is a good one. I'm down with that. Our uh, tensor guy, no, in the chat room, Moody Mondays doesn't help oh anybody. My God. <laughs> That's <laughs> not no, come on. Stop it, please. Jesus. It's not. It's like somebody, put, somebody put a, oh, my God, I can't. Uh, uh, you, you uh, Casey, it was you who suggested that you threatened if you don't get on Google Plus that essentially you're condoning kitten rape, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, somebody apparently, somebody said only you can prevent kitten rape <laughs> by joining oh, Google Plus. Oh, is it an animated GIF? It's an animated cat GIF. Or geez, it looks like I'm just I'm just standing behind there like Chief Sitting Bull, just a real a real angry face on. Terrible well, idea. Brian just cheers behind. Me. <laughs> <Poor> kitty. <laughs> I want to join Google Google Plus stuff. I should join again. So you think? Yes. I, unfortunately, it sounds like this is actually working rather well. <laughs> so what's uh, uh So I think we. Well, I, I think here's here's the important part. We have now narrowed it down to our field. We are trying to appeal to men who are currently on Google Plus who do not want to continue the sausage fest. We want to end the sausage fest. And yes. so we are asking anybody who is for that cause that is currently on Google Plus. Let's let's just I think it but should we, be we need to go we need to go from this to this. Yes. That's pretty good. Like Stop the tummy stick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and start, it's a start the love, right? That's what it is. Is You got to come together. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. Brian, that was uncalled for. That, no, that was Justin. Why are you doing that? You're better yes. than Oh, for the audio listeners. Brian, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible, okay. horrible. Thing. So uh, here's what I like. Here's what I like. First of all, I think, I think the message should be, it should be propaganda posters. Like like a war effort, and it says, and it should be stop the sausage party. Invite a girl today, and then and then we bring in like you know who, stop the sausage party. Who did you invite on Female Friday? And then maybe you know show. Fem Friday. Fem Friday. I think Fem Friday. Fem Friday. Friday. That's right. Yeah. And and then we could and maybe the symbol. We should we should have a symbol that's that. Oh, you know what? Here's what you do. Hang on. Let me do. I'm gonna go to if you go to oh socialstatistics.com. Some really offensive days here. <laughs> some really offensive days of the week. Yeah, there's one for Mondays. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, we'll say, save it for it the involves, after show. It involves the word curtain. Okay, and that's all right. That's done. Here's, here's what the logo needs to be, right? We need to have this little thing. We need to have that little thing. In fact, here, everybody, I'm going to remove the logo here. So you grab your screen grab right there. That's what needs to show up there in the corner. Like that's our whole message of what the problem is right now. And so, and so then you, you got your big poster, your message, and then that little thing like, bing, this is a problem, people. That kind of thing. Yeah. All right. So somebody get that done uh, uh, now. If you guys want to uh, you know, try and get something done by the end of the show. Brian, it's, I think it's time to crown us a winner, though. Yeah, no, we got to pick, we gotta pick a favorite for the uh, – for the, the, have, have you had a chance to read any of the reviews right now up at Cheat Scott no. Scoodles of Tricks, 57 Ways to Skim Free Drink? Let's no, see. I Originally, there was 14 reviews, and then now – uh, let's see. We have 28 customer reviews. So uh, I, some of these, I assume, will be serious. Um, this one uh, is a, a fan of the show, but this is not a funny one. This is not a funny one. This is not a funny one. These are all, these are all compelling reasons why you would want to buy the book. Uh, and some of these are very long, so I'm skipping the wow. long one. 
Uh, I don't think they understand what a haiku is. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's probably because we didn't tell them to do a haiku. I did. No, we did. You I did. said haiku length. Yeah, well, I totally said. You said, said that. haiku length, or a limerick, or an essay. Or... No, I did not say any of those things. I said haiku length or a limerick. <laughs> did say a limerick. Yes. Yeah. Well, here we go. I never knew any cheese cons, whittles, or, tr or tricks before. Now that I heard about Brian Brushwood's revolutionary tome of chicanery and balderdash, I liked it so much that I went straight to iTunes and bought Blackwater. Okay, so that's that's an inside joke for the Blackwater. That's uh, you get a point for that. Meeks wrote an essay. Dude, dude, bro. <laughs> Black um, women's underwear fly off. I like that one. Uh, well, here, here we go. You want to read this one? This is Dude Bro 9000. Listen, bros, there's a lot of bros out here, but you want to be the alpha bro? Step one, buy this book. Step two, read it in between working out your abs. <laughs> Step three, go to a bar. Step four, perform crazy magic, bro. Step five, watch women's underwear fly off. An actual trick in the book. Probably. I like that one. It's hard to read and lift weights. <laughs> this thing is bro tested, bro approved. Okay. Get it. Uh, that's pretty good. Cheats, cod, swiddles, and swigs. I basically tried one a week to get a drink for free. Works, I say, to wet the lips with drinks not paid by me. Hey, that rhymes. That's pretty good. Special reports. <laughs> Until, Until I read this book, I hated free drinks. Then this book inspired me to go and buy Blackwater. <laughs> this book will make you as rich as the credit Mac Daddy and give you a desire to go outside and sky five your neighbor. It's simply oh. ridiculous. If for no other reason, you should buy this book. Because TPIA. This podcast is awesome. So many good tricks. It's this awesome. boom is great. I am learning so many gross <laughs> tricks. I'm at the bar right now. People keep buying me drinks. It's getting hard to size. <laughs> this is a tiny keyboard. I should a call capsule. This book is really great. Uh, I like that's that actually one. My, that's my leader in the clubhouse. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm done with that too. Uh, wanted this for a long time. Uh, I've wanted so uh, this hard to find book for a long time. Ever since I watched the author on, oh, this is a serious one. Thank you very much, Rabbit Badger. Um, well, <laughs> well, Brian, I just spent ninety nine cents and you made thirty three cents. You happy now? Well, Brian, I just spent ninety nine cents and you made thirty three cents. You happy now? I love all the tricks and can't wait to try some of them soon. I tried to fold my Kindle nine times, but couldn't even fold it once. Love NSFW on Twitch. <laughs> Double complete awesome. Uh, this is a, just a compliment. Oh man, uh, I I don't even see. I think I think I'm gonna go for the drunk guy at the bar one. I think drunk guy. Listen, oh, wait, drunk wait, guy. hold on. Actually, this is pretty good. I gave up trying to get free drinks from the ladies on Google Plus and turned to this book. <laughs> Thanks to Brushwood's amazing books, I'm sure I will have no problem getting free drinks at an actual bar. Maybe I can use it to con them into buying Blackwater for me, too. Man, of all the inside jokes, the Blackwater one has had the most traction forever. Well, also, it's the one that lived inside the comment. Like, that was, that was. It's, it's natural habitat is in random comments on random websites. All right, look, we're giving it to the drunk guy, which is, uh, man, a lot of these are serious. I didn't expect that. I expected all of them. I expected all of them to be like, are you happy? <laughs> oh, I like this one. Oh, a physical copy? What are you, a loser? <laughs> Uh, but I received the physical copy of this book at Brushwood Stage Show. As soon as I heard it, it came out in the Kindle edition, I taught myself to breathe fire with Brian's other book, The Professional's Guide to Fire Reading, and burned it. Then used the excess <laughs> paper to wipe. This book is the greatest thing to happen to humanity since It's a Wonderful Life too. So here's what I want you to do. Spend less than a dollar to get this book. Then go buy Blackwater. This book will get you free beers everywhere but Cuba. Uh, no, I'm going oh. for the drunk guy. That's got to be the winner. I'm going to go back and find who that guy is because oh. he's... Nice is it Rabbit try, Badger? What, what, what was that? What, was it Rabbit Badger? No, Rabbit Badger did a, a really sweet one. He did like a real one. I'm looking for the one. Because well, he's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm looking... Looking for our, we'll get the name. We we got our winner, but look, uh, we 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 still got our music guest that we got that we got to visit. But first, we got some uh, people we, that we got to pay some bills. Yeah. I mean, I mean, some best friends that we'd like to introduce to the nice people. Oh my God! All right, I just want to let you guys know. Over the weekend, I had a dalliance with Netflix. It was hot and heavy, and I think Netflix is pregnant with my eye babies. <laughs> what does that mean? Because I, I screwed Netflix <laughs> all day and all night throughout Saturday and Sunday. Dude, I don't know if any of this is possible, but metaphorically, have you, Netflix have, might have you be heard about this? my eye fetus. There, there, was, there, was a, there was a highly, highly conservative uh, Bible college that was that no, boys and girls were never allowed to touch or date or kiss or do it. I mean, you could, you could be going out with someone, but you couldn't ever touch each other. Uh, but the girls and boys would do something they, that, that eventually was branded optical intercourse which was like 
intensely staring into each other's eyes so that your heart soared and then they're like that's too close to actual touching and they banned oh it. Oh my god. That's what you had. hot as hell. That's what you <laughs> I had. I want to go to that camp. <laughs> <laughs> that is what you had with Netflix. You had exactly. optical intercourse exactly. with Netflix. Problem with something like that is then you don't want to <laughs> you know, just slowly look down if you're staring too intensely you don't realize what they're doing below their face. <laughs> Oh my God, why did you have to ruin that? We were talking about Netflix. She's a nice girl. <laughs> like, listen, Netflix, Netflix is, is such amazing. a sweet... Listen, yeah, no, no, right, no, so no, 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 I'm not going to let you drag Netflix's name through the mud. She is a sweetheart, and she, yes, it's true, she does go both ways, physical media and internet yes. streaming to your your mobile device, your iPhone, your iPad, your computer, your your uh, your Roku box. Your cat. It goes right to your Nancat. <laughs> it goes right for the Nancat because she uh, she goes all the way that Netflix and she puts uh, out. I mean, listen, We're talking about. Wanna, oh yeah, big time. Puts out. Let me just say it'll go all night long, and most of the day. Dude, do you know what like I heard? Do you know what I heard that all you have to do is go to her website and you can pick anything that you want, and in oh, yeah. one business day it'll show up on your front door. How amazing is that? And I'm not talking. I'm not talking Just about begging for it. I, I, begging for it. It'll show up on your doorstep. And here's Just the thing. I'm not just talking. Played. I'm not talking about you playing Jane DVDs. She does Blu-rays, bro. Dude. She's got a lot of circles. She she does have a she lot does. of circles all over, man. She's insane. She's the blue and Blu-ray. And I'm you know just what? Gonna say this about Netflix. I heard she's totally a pro, but she don't even have to pay her. Uh, not for the first month. Well, After yeah. that, a nominal fee. <laughs> nominal, a very reasonable one, though, because you can a actually reasonable fee. You, you can you can go all night long, every night, instant streaming with Netflix using. Uh, all you got to do is head on over to Netflix. Let me type this down for you. Netflix.com/slash/twit like that. Uh, yeah. All right. Here, here's the, here's the here's the real sauce on Netflix. I spent the entire weekend uh, working on a project where I was also watching movies, and I watched a crap ton of Woody Allen movies, as well as awesome stuff that I had meant to see, but I had never seen like uh, Bobcat Goldweight and Robin Williams' uh, movie World's Greatest Dad, which was awesome. Uh, they have awesome documentaries. If you're into documentaries, man, you gotta go to Netflix. I watched one about um, uh, Lee Atwater that was amazing, and it was super awesome, and it was like so politically nerdy that I would never see it if it weren't just staring me right there in the face on Netflix. It's the best money I spent. And I'll, I'll just, let me just say this. There's a lot of talk over the last week about Netflix uh, raising their rates on, uh, on, on, on the instant streaming stuff. But I feel totally confident that this is them making a super commitment to beefing up the instant streaming stuff and making sure that they can continue to get the awesome licenses, which makes the Netflix instant streaming the best thing that happens to me every single day. That is the straight truth. Get it, netflix.com slash twit. If you don't have it, and if you do have it, you want to know what? Go watch a Netflix movie tonight and tweet out that NSFW told you to do it and put it out on Twitter or Facebook. Oh, no, yeah. They pay attention to all of that stuff. Uh, okay, now, before we bring on the musical guest, uh, last last thing. So we've agreed that it needs to be, uh, you know, fight the, fight the power in the sausage party. Uh, and, you know, what have you done to invite ladies? Uh, so it's too late to go in another direction. So we're not going to do something like tired of getting poked, take refuge at Google+, Plus, <laughs> right? Oh. We're not going <laughs> to... So, I mean, we're not going to play up that Facebook is a misogynist. Uh, well, here, I, I will say this. I want everybody, we will put all of these up on, on BBpedia, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, BBpedia.net or bbliveshow.info. They'll be on there. Yeah, they will all be there. Please feel free to distribute them all throughout Google Plus over the next week. But we do want to have, and, and, and hopefully we'll have by the end of, of tonight, at least in the after show, and Tony will put it on the end of the episode, um, a Google Plus, uh, you know, an, an official, a Fem Friday poster. Uh, you know what? I think we, we have it. We have it. It just showed up in the chat room. Uh, final final solution uh, for, for Casey McKinnon. All right. No okay. final solution. <laughs> final. The final. Oh, my Hitler God. This is episode. not. Okay. That's. I cannot believe you did that. I cannot believe you did that. <laughs> uh, the, the, I only went the, almost the entire episode. I, I. That was not me. That was you. That kicking. was you talking about the final solution. <laughs> no. Okay. Stop it. Uh, can this be our final selection? The final selection for this, uh, for this episode. It's got to be. I want you to invite women to Google Plus, Female Friday. And if you look down here, it's got the, it even has the, uh, 
There we go. Well, actually, I think that might be a little bit too small right there since I can't even show it here on the screen. But it's got the uh, current ratio between men and women right there. Like if that was a little bit bigger, can we just just agree that that's that's the that's the, the correct answer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's, we've got I, two problems here. here. What's One that? is it's Fem Friday. Oh, yeah, it's not female Two Friday. Two is that whatever happens to photoshopping me in this um, I want you position, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Go. What's Come up? on. Let's get Casey who's that, in there. Who's that slutty manga character with the pot belly? <laughs> <laughs> this total whore wants you on Google+. Plus. <laughs> Casey McKinnon Seriously. says, screw you. Hey, Pixel Tramp wants you to get on Google+. Plus. I'm doing it. <laughs> Why don't you get lost, big eyes? Go back to Japan. I want to be on Google+. Plus. Uh, all right, well, here, before we also get into uh, our, our, our musical guest, um, let me uh, remind everybody again, andrewmade.com slash books, 99 cents for the next 24 hours. And then after that, it'll be up to 2 99 if you're listening to this on podcast. Uh, but please go check that out and tweet about it and talk about it at Google+. Plus. All right. Are we ready to get in? Uh, you know uh, what? Hang on. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Ladies, be super <laughs> with G+. Plus. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. I like it. Did, wait, good. were you dressed but as Wonder Woman front. and then they dressed No, up? someone photoshopped that. It was awesome. Wow, that is awesome. I know. Ladies, be super with G+. That's not bad. Step in the right direction. All right, Justin, let's, let's keep on moving here. Uh, folks, Harry Potter. They just did the, the final movie, Bowed, uh, and uh, I will not confirm or deny that that had any bearing on the summer movie league standings where now Sarah Lane is trouncing everybody by $200 million. It's, it's but by just the way, I, I scant uh, four days ago, I was in the lead by uh, $30 million. My strategy that Harry Potter would make less than $30 million turned out to be a woefully incorrect one. Yes! <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, so Sarah Lane is actually, uh, completely trans, I guess, in the Summer Music Series. Apparently, uh, Chip Blugenberg, uh, died of, <laughs> Died uh, of so rage is what happened. He saw the latest numbers, and he had an aneurysm, and just completely exploded with frustration. Exactly. But, uh, of course, uh, it really, uh, symbolically kind of marks the end of the gigantic releases, what with the books all done, and now with the movies having all been released, but... There is a, a realm of music that if you're not into it and you do dig Harry Potter, then you really do owe yourself to take a good look at it. It's Wizard Rock. It is all sorts of awesome musicians who sing awesome songs about the entire Harry Potter universe. And we have one of the premiere acts that we are so lucky to have premiere. on tonight to mark the occasion. Folks, uh, you can see them at Rockstock 5. That is Halloween weekend. Uh, right outside of St. Louis, Missouri, where you can find it at rockstock.com or Sonorous 2011 in Vienna, Virginia. That's near D.C. You can go to sonorous2011.com. Uh, Their latest CD is called Nobody Expects the Blibbering Humdingers. You can find them at blimmeringhumdingers.com. Folks, playing Voldemort Made Me Crap My Pants live and direct. It is the Blibbering Humdingers. Welcome to NSFW <laughs> Show. Hey there. Hey. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, no, you're, you're coming in loud and clear, and uh, you guys look fantastic. We are ready to rock. Bring, bring oh. this rock upon our faces. Sweet, we're <laughs> going to take out these earbuds and uh, let uh, Voldemort Sing a song. Uh, crap my pants here. This is, this is all about the emotional scar <laughs> that uh, Harry was left with all his life. Oh. I was lying in my crib. At my house in Godric's Hollow There was drool on my bed Chewing on a toy that I could not swallow Then some guy came late at night I saw a flash of greenish light Thought I did not stand a chance Then he made me crap my pants Voldemort And a giant came to rescue me With my diaper full of crap So he changed my nappy carefully Then I spent the next ten years Underneath the Dursley stairs Dreaming of his awful laughs When he made me crap my Boop, 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 boop,
Now I'm lying in my bed in my room in Gryffindor Tower. I am brave or so it's sad. I'm a kid with magic powers. But the Dark Lord ain't impressed. That bad guy gets me real stressed. Like going to the U.O.'s dance. That really made me crap my pants. The U.O. ball made me crap my pants. Finding a date really made me crap my pants. The basilisk dementors of me. guys so much for uh for joining us Dude. uh it is it is it is my my everlasting joy on this show that we get to highlight musical acts for uh, our our awesome fans that wouldn't uh otherwise uh, you know be in front of them and, and this is you guys being on is is way part of that it, it really is the the example that i will always point to uh and let me tell you dude, this song this song has success written all over it because you've <laughs> already, not only not only have you planned for this thing to explode, but think about it. The whole idea, you know, Voldemort made me crap my pants. You're already set for the weird, weird Al parody. Baltimore made me crap my pants about when he gets <laughs> lost on the bad side of town. See, you're, you're thinking ahead. That's what I like about it. So, yeah, where are you guys? We were you guys about Baltimore? <laughs> are, are you guys? Are you guys playing anywhere soon, or is there an album that we can buy? What What, what do you got to plug? What can we do to support you guys? We have. We have three albums, and you can uh, find them on blibberinghumdingers.com. Um, you can find them on iTunes and Amazon MP3 and all those kind of places. <laughs> uh, we we right, post most of our updates are on our Facebook page. So Facebook. So, so just, just so we have the spelling right, it, you said blubbering humdingers or no, blubber? no, no. Blubbering. blubbering. It's spelled right there on the screen. Right. And then, L I B B. Blubbering humdingers. Blubbering. It's a Luna Lovegood reference that's not ah, in the movies. Got it. It's in the books. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Luna's mythical, mythical creatures. Uh, awesome, awesome. What's well, so, uh, uh, Do you have time for one more for us? We just lost our co-host, Casey McKinnon, just dropped off. Oh, <laughs> oh, gonna try. Uh, uh, she well, was well, the good-looking one. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we can from, do another. From, uh, from, from, from the Blooming Humdingers, uh, let's, real quick again, Brian, uh, everybody go buy Cheats, Cons, Windows, and Tricks, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's super short. You can read it in 20 minutes, and it really does have, it, this is the book upon which all of Scam School was based. So if you, if you dig the stuff we show on Scam School, this is the book that started it all. It's finally on your Kindle or your iOS device. Uh, and I will, again, remind everybody, andrewmain.com slash books, where you can buy uh, my audiobook version of his full-length novel, Public Enemy Zero. For the next 24 hours, it's 99 cents. If you are listening to this on podcast, don't worry, folks. It's two ninety nine after that. So head on over there. Please buy it and uh, review the book if you like it on Amazon and tweet about it when you get it for 99 cents. And is Casey back? No, 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 she's working on it. Hopefully she'll be back after the song. I think I'm, I'm betting it might be a battery issue that she just totally died because I'm calling uh, well her then now. Let me also remind on. everybody, if you're going to Comic-Con, please be on the lookout for Casey on the Elf 
last panel, uh, they're going to be talking all about the trailer they made and whether or not it's going to help ElfQuest, the franchise, actually get a feature film made. So that would be uh, make awesome. sure you check that out. Uh, now, uh, Blimmering Humdingers, uh, what, what is the, uh, the song you're going to play us out for this episode, and, and what are we going to hear? This one's called Dobby Bang Your Head. It was written for a charity compilation called Seriously Smiling. And hang on, we, uh, <laughs> we tripped over a cord here, running to get a prop. So, all right, uh, we're good now. Okay. We've <laughs> left, all right, here we go. You ready for us? Technical issues, so this is new for us, but I'm sure we can stumble through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Great. ladies and gentlemen, right. you can uh, get them at uh, blibberinghumdingers.com. Their latest album is Nobody Expects the Blimmering, uh, the Blibbering Humdingers uh, playing. Dobby, bang your head one more time. Okay. Folks, yeah. Wizard Rock Zone, the Blibbering Humdingers. He's still talking. Two, three, four. All summer you stole my letters. I think that you had better. Tell me what you thought that would do. Uh -oh. The Dursleys were entertaining. You started levitating. That pudding and now I'm out of school. Uh -oh. But then I jumped aboard. The Weasleys find board with Ron, George and Fred. And Dobby just banged his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. I was playing in a Quidditch game. Malfoy tried to do the same. I just started chasing after me. E -e. Started flying all through the bleachers. Something's burning. Hey, it's a teacher. What you doing, Miss Hermione? E -e. Then Lockhart worked his charm. Got no bones in my arm. I'm lying in this bed. And Dobby just banged his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. Ba 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 then we got in a fix Done in by Bellatrix And now that Dobby's dead He can't bang his own head So I just sort of, you know, grab it by the ear And, um, I don't know, <laughs> hit it with a stick Or um, it against my wife okay. Or hit it against the guitar or something <laughs> But uh, it's really starting to smell, and it's lost a lot of blood, so maybe I should see a taxidermist or something. Oh, no, well. gross. Now I'm a wizard rock star. Drum, bass, electric, electric guitar. guitar. And Dobby's gone, but that's okay. I know his spirit lives on. Rocks out with me and Ron. He helps us rock the night away. Hey. Cause when I play show, he's there in the front row, rocking to books he's read and banging his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. This mental elf will drive you mad. And it's always double this and double that. Poor Dobby had to iron his hands. What about us? We were tortured by the legions of Mordor. But did we tell them about the process? <laughs> <laughs> but, Bring in no, also. This is why you don't have any friends. But what about Dobby? Dobby's our friend. Dobby really hates Dobby. Dobby.
That's awesome. Dude, so much oh, win. It cannot God, be contained. Blibbering humdingers. Uh, thank you guys so much again. Blibbering humdingers.com, folks. If you are into the Wizard Rock movement, please, you owe yourself a favor. Uh, if you like that, to go uh, find some of the other awesome bands. But first and foremost, thank you guys uh, uh, so much for coming on. I really do. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, absolutely. And uh, uh, first of all, on behalf of everyone here at NSFW, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If nothing else, you learned that both Justin and I have a fundamental misunderstanding about how women think. <laughs> and so we hope that you guys will bring all the ladies over to Google+. Plus. Until then, catch us next time. And you can find me, uh, both of us on the Google+. Plus, Right, Justin? You're uh, Justin Robert Young on Google+. Plus. I'm Brian Brushwood. And that's it for this episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, real quick, real quick, uh, since Casey's back on, Casey... Yeah, yeah, well, sort Casey of sort of dropped right back off again, and uh, she was there She was there to dance for the song and then was, was lost again. We'll get her back on to the after show so we can play, we'll, we'll splice her plugs into the, to the end, but until then, that's it for this episode of NSFW, beautiful people. Do me a favor, why don't you go die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Circle you next Tuesday. You say circle here next Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs>